Hi, my name is Claudia. Welcome. You can find me on other social media channels at I am Claudia Q, where I share daily houseplant care tips, tricks, DIY, styling, and all of that. For today's video, I want to unbox two rare plants with you. These have kind of been on my radar for the last year or so. They've always been pretty pricey, and I happened to find both of them from the same shop for under $40 each, so I just couldn't pass it out. Here they are. I want to unbox them with you, show you how they come packaged. I will share exactly what they look like if I think they're worth it what shop they were from and all of that I'll start by saying that they arrived super fast I placed the order I want to say Sunday they shipped out Monday and they were here Wednesday so super fast and they're coming from Florida cute little cards this is what the inside looks like I have ordered from them before and have had great experiences I do trust them and looking forward to it Oh, this is even better than I thought. Even cuter than I thought. It's a Hoya Microphylla pot of gold. So it's got that inner variegation. And I thought it would be a lot smaller. It does have two leaves that are completely green, but majority of them do have the high variegation. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't just a little bit concerned about these spots in the back. So I am going to get my microscope and make sure that it doesn't have any pests. But it is, I am surprised at the size for the price because again, I think this was $38.99. I'll write down the price for sure on the screen, but I've usually seen much smaller cuttings or even unrooted cuttings in like the 60s, 70s, and 80s. The next one. This is a mutant mandula. So it's a mandula pothos, but it's a mutant. So you can see that it has the different variegation, usually a lot more white. This is a, looks like just one growth point, single vine cutting, but I am happy with all the nodes that it has, and it does have some aerial roots growing. Actually, it looks like a new point might be activating right here. So I'm very, very happy. I think the pot's probably too big for the size of the plant, so I might downsize it. A little bit of yellowing, but that's okay, and then getting the uh, dry spots on the white is normal, but hopefully with light and humidity, I can take care of that. But overall, I'm really, really happy. I am gonna pull out the microscope and I'll include that footage here just in case. So I just finished inspecting the plant very thoroughly. I didn't see anything. There is a little bit, or I mean, not quite a bit, but there is damage that I can see, but nothing that I found. So it's either previous damage it could be even like weather damage from wherever it was before or regular watering damage. So I'm happy that I didn't find anything, but I, I want to see what kind of medium they're potted in. And then I will give you all the specs about where I bought them and all of that. So it looks like this one's potted in cocoa core chips, which is great. I find that I do really well with my Hoyas that come in cocoa core chips. So I'm excited to see that. The leaves are a little bit soft, so it is going to need some water soon. This one is definitely more of a peat mix. And like I said, I'm probably going to downsize it because I like to keep my plants tight in their pots to encourage more leaf growth versus more root growth. So I will be doing all of that. So I found these at We Love Plants LLC. I've bought several plants from them before. I've always had a great experience with them. They ship great. It's a small business. They are based in Florida. So I also feel that the prices are a little bit better even when you factor in shipping than getting them locally. Um, if you could even find them because I do feel that they have access to a lot more plants than we do here in Southern California. I think that these were great finds. I'll put the exact prices. I had just inquired about a Manjula. It was a four inch full pot and it was $175. So I think that for $40, this is great. I have 
several nodes here that I could eventually propagate and fill out. And this is how I started with my regular manjula also. It was just one cutting with a cut or one vine with a couple leaves. So, and now it's, you know, turned into this, it's still only one vine because I haven't chopped it, but it's beautiful and grown so well. So I'm excited. One more thing I will know is that even though I do do a thorough inspection to look for pests, Sometimes I bring out even my microscope like I did this time with this microphylla is that I always, always, always quarantine my plants. I actually have a whole new plant routine that I do and I don't skim on that. I do my new plant routine and then I quarantine them for at least two weeks and then I recheck before I incorporate them into my space around other plants just in case. You just never know and it's better to be safe than sorry in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to link We Love Plants LLC down below. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every time I have a new video up. Thanks for watching.